Welcome back to another video and today to take a look on how to install Home Assistant the easiest and fastest way that I'm aware. We will be needing our computer. I'll be using the Zima board with the Sabrent SSD and if you still haven't watched the video I will leave a link right over here just in case you want to check that out and the only thing that I've got installed right over here is Proxmox. I also have a guide on how to install Proxmox so if you don't know how to do it just a link right over here and basically this is what we will require now if you are watching this video on your windows computer 10 or 11 and we still haven't activated your license don't forget to check out keys fan a platform where we can find budget official om keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below in the video description you will get an extra discount now, once we have our computer with Proxmox installed, it's really easy. And I'm going to explain this in two ways. One really fast for those that already know how to mess around with Proxmox and so on and so forth. And the other one a more detailed so that you can follow along. So if you are an expert user, you just need to copy the code or that I will leave down below on the video description. By the way, the credits for this line of command is for Texter. So a huge thumbs up for him and pay attention to the next video which I will be explaining how we can install a lot more apps with the same method. But once we copy this we just need to go to our Proxmox server, go to the shell, paste the command line, press enter and basically this is it. Just wait a few moments and you have your own assistant installed. So Basically, you can go and do it for yourself because this is as easy as it gets. Now, let's go a little bit slower for those that want a more detailed guide. Now, we already have Proxmox installed. We have our server open on our web browser and you will go to copy the command line that I've got on the video description. Go to your Proxmox server, search for shell and then just paste that command line and press enter. It will ask us if we want to create a new machine. We will say yes. It will ask us if we want to use the default options. In this case, I said yes, but if you want to mess around with RAM and storage space and so on and so forth, you might want to use the advanced mode. In this particular case, let's go with the default. Once we press it, the process will start as you may have seen already. And in a couple of minutes, we will have Home Assistant installed. Told. And once we do that on the left panel, we will see a new machine right over there called Home Assistant. In this particular case, AOS 10.1. If I select that particular server, I will have all the information on the summary, including the IP address of my Home Assistant installation, which I can change the IP address as well. Now I just need to copy that IP based on my browser. And there I am with my Home Assistant dashboard configuration. So I just need to select username, password, and in no time, I'm inside Home Assistant dashboard, which in my particular case, it detected automatically a lot of devices that I've got on my network. And that was it. I was ready to start using Home Assistant. Now we have supervisor, we have the add-on store, just in case you are questioning that and what I did was to activate SSH and I also installed Axe which last night when I was doing it it was giving me an error but it had to do with the server on GitHub. This morning when I did press enter to record the video it was just bam as fast as that I had Axe installed. So Home Assistant full-fledged with all the permissions everything that we want on our computer which in this particular case Zima board with Sabrin. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video and it was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget also to subscribe to the channel to receive more videos such as this. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.